In this video I'm going to show you how to take a grade book that came over from Angel and update it in Blackboard into the Grade Center. So on your um, menu on the left hand side of your screen you're going to open up the Grade Center and you're go going to go into Full Grade Center. Now when the Grade Center was set up from your Angel um, grade book you will see that first they have an overall score here and then um, that's automatically created and then in this case I had three categories within my course and then um, it has a weighted column for all the rest of the information that came over from Angel and you'll see that I have a set of trainings I have some projects and then I also have discussions in here. Now, if your information was brought over from Angel and you did not put in a score, then you will not see that item um, in your gradebook. You actually have to go into the test or the discussion and set up a certain number of points for each one of them for them to show up in your gradebook. Now, if this was all set up coming over from Angel, it should be in here. All right, now, in your first column here, you should have an overall you're going to go into the drop arrow to the right of that column and you're going to go into edit column information. Now if you had already set up categories in Angel you will see that they already have the categories over on the right hand side. What I did notice is that the percentages within here they did not come in properly so I had to reset my percentages in my gradebook. Okay so once I do that I also want to put in um, if you say yes to a um, calculate as a running total, this will leave the columns blank until you actually put grades in. If you say no, it will actually put zeros into the columns as soon as the first grade is put in and the rest of the columns will go to zeros. So you want to make sure you set that to, to yes. That's kind of like the show zeros on, as a default in Angel. Alright, I do want to make sure that this is showing up in my gradebook and um, I want students to be able to see it. Okay, and at this point I don't want to show the statistics. Now if you want to you can go in and change this to a different name. You could put an overall grade, overall, overall title, um, total, depending on what you have for your gradebook, whether it's a points or a percentage. And then submit that. Alright, now, if I'm looking at this, I can tell that these are actual categories. Now I can decide whether I want to show them or I can hide them. Um, I can rearrange them like you could, could do in Angel as well. If you want to pick how the information is going to display in a column, you can go to the drop arrow of any column, go in to edit column information, and then you can decide whether you want to show a percentage, a score, a letter grade, um, depending on whatever you have your gradebook set up as. If you basically are setting up your gradebook as points based, you want to show score. If you want it to actually take, um, let's say you have 50 points for a quiz and they get all 50 points, it would show a percentage of 100, but it would show a score of 50. So you get to decide what you want to use in that. And you'll see that they have an angel letter grade on mine. If you set up your scale, in Angel it brought that scale over and it would show them the letter grade. Okay, So you get to choose that. And a little bit further down you have an option of deciding whether you want to show the highest grades or the lowest grades. I would do this after the semester is just about ended. Do not do it at the beginning of the semester. Okay, And then again you want to do your calculate as a running total. You want to have that as yes so it doesn't put zeros in um, as soon as you put in the first grade and then I'm going to submit that. Okay, now to be able to go in and rearrange your columns, you're going to go into Manage and go into Column Organization. In Column Organization, you can decide what you want frozen on the left-hand side so it will always show. No matter how far to the right you go in your gradebook, you can move any column up above here. So if I wanted my students to see their overall grade all the time, no matter how far they go in their gradebook, I can bring this up and stick it at the top so it's frozen. Okay. Um, if I decide I don't want something to be showing, I can select it and go down to the bottom and do show hide and tell it to hide these columns. Okay. 
and if I want to go in I could um, move these columns around so if I wanted to put all my training together I could do that if I wanted to put all my projects together I could set that up and just click and drag these around in the order that you want them um, you can put them in the order that you're assigning them um, it, it all depends on how you want them to look and then when you're done you just submit it One of the things that you will notice is there were some things in there that were great. Those were things that were already hidden. And if you hide something, you cannot delete it from the Grade Center, but you can hide it and it will remain in there. Now, if you remove a item in um, the Grade Center, if you actually delete something in your course, like a test or a quiz, that will stay in the Grade Center. You just have to hide it so that the students don't see that column. Okay, so those are the main things that you need to be concerned with if you're taking a gradebook from Angel and you're going to customize it so it works in Blackboard.